Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a collective starseed reading um, while my daughter naps. My daughter is literally napping right next to me so I can keep an eye on her. <clears throat> so I, I'm sorry for the lack of readings, guys, but I've been just very drained energetically, emotionally, mentally, physically, um, just a lot of stuff going on. Okay, let's see. I was told to bring down these crystals, these ones, here, here. Where do I want you guys? I think I want you right there. Okay. My crystal buddies. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. So I broke the deck. Um, it says a new earth, double mission. So there's a lot going on. We have more than just one mission here. Um, it says light worker star seeds serve the world by just being you. <laughs> But it's, it holds like a double meaning because double mission, it, you have more than just one mission. Your first mission, first and foremost, is simply holding your light and being yourself. Your other missions can be anything that you express out into the world to raise the frequency. So whether that's art or music or dance, um, whatever that is to you. And then a new earth that's happening, keep holding the vision. So it's letting us know, it's reaffirming that, yes, we're building this new earth. We have to be patient. <laughs> we have to um, keep our vibrations up as much as we possibly can. And it's a struggle. Um, sometimes, sometimes life is challenging and it's a struggle. But we have this, again, double mission and deep cellular healing going on. This is Arcturus energy. I've been feeling a lot of Arcturus um, energy going on with... Um, I always get downloads in the shower and I've been seeing many Arcturian beings. Um, so this makes sense. And this is physical and emotional healing. So this really goes along with everything I was saying. And it's funny, I wasn't gonna do the splits in the decks, but I have to go with the flow because um, you know, everything just happens for a reason. I brought out my <laughs> my love cards. So I, I don't know, I was told to do that. And I have these cards as well, so. Let's get into this reading. I think I want to pull some of these guys. These are super hard to shuffle. Struggle is real. Right now. Well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I feel like that's like a lot of the things. Like we have these challenges and we make them to be so much bigger in our heads and then we go to do them. And then when we're done, we're like, oh, it wasn't even that hard. Like, why was I freaking out about it? <laughs> <coughs> Become your own sovereign. Become your own sovereign. And this says the goddess sovereignty. So lots of goddess energy, purple, lavender. Become your own sovereign. Become your own sovereign being. Stop being so codependent. And be the powerful space between opposite poles. So be this like transmutation. Be the gold. Be the neutral energies. Oh my gosh, these are so hard to shuffle. Okay, that's enough. Let's see what else I'm getting with these cards. I'm sorry for the video angle here. I never film here. Um, so, and my tripod can only extend so far. So I'm doing the best that I can with what I have right now. So, yes. <laughs> Look through the mist, find the mystery. The mountain. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just posted a thing of a UFO and a mountain, and this card kind of depicts the same sort of energies. The lighting is so terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me here. Um, I am in the process also of getting a ring light, <laughs> so bear with me. But it's telling you to really see clarity through the mist and 2020, 2020 vision, obviously, but it's telling you also, like, I think this has a lot to do with the crown and mental energies. And <laughs> it says, find, see how we have all these, like, look, find, look deeper. It says, be curious, look deeper. This is the fairy realms as well. I think we're like really digging into different dimensions here. 
um, and exploring. I think a lot of us are doing this, um, especially in our dream time. And I think that's why there's such an increase of creativity right now in artistry. Find and hold your own power and see that how that was in the reverse. Lady of the Lake, work with water. We have water in three cards here. We have the pond here with the mountain. We have the pond here as well. See the waterfall in the pond. And then we have the Lady of the Lake is what it says. Lady of the Lake. So three water cards. And like I said in my last reading, I think it was my last reading or my last video, actually. Sorry, my last video um, where I was speaking the light language and everything after my Kundalini yoga class. That was amazing, by the way. If you guys didn't check out that video, please do us the video before this one. Um, there's lots of like really good balancing light codes in there. That was before like <laughs> I became emotionally unbalanced again, but we're coming back to it. And, um, so definitely check out that video. Cause I feel like it will really help you integrate some good light codes. Cause I was very, um, integrated that day and very aligned and in balance and just channeling it. So yeah, definitely be your own sovereign, find and hold your own power. And I, because this is in the reverse, I feel like a lot of people aren't doing this. I feel like I need to work on this more as well. I think we all do, um, as this is a collective reading. And it's okay. Like, it's okay if we're not quite where we want to be yet. It's all a process. And I, I really believe that we are all m making huge um, shifts towards that direction and really doing the best that we can right now. And I think... It's okay. I think it's okay. So, do we have any other messages for the star seeds? The collective messages that we need to work through. Things that we need at this time. <laughs> the magician in the reverse is like the same card as this. If you look at the tarot, this is like the same energies. So this is like the same sovereign being. This is all the power that they hold as the magician, but yet it's in the reverse. So just reiterating, yes, this card was meant to come out. And yes, this is the message. So um, there's lots of bird energy here as well. Um, a white bird energy. We have the high priestess as well in the reverse. So yeah, it's, it's divine masculine, divine feminine with the high priestess and the magician. I feel like a lot of you are afraid of your third eye visions or you're closing them off or you're accepting them as just imaginary, but they're not, they're real. They're really real. And I think this is something that we need to understand. I had many of these during my yoga session and um, they did a shavasana at the end and that's where they you lay down in the dark and they hit a gong and you kind of feel the vibrations and the reverberations go through your body and you just let your third eye just do its thing and wow i had i had never had an experience that that long like it, it just lasted because we did the kundalini activation beforehand and so it was really activating i was I was thinking like, wow, this is, you know, very powerful, but, you know, it was real. And we have the moon. We have the moon in the upright. I just feel like this has a lot to do with, like, emotional energies and getting a hold on your, like, mental and um, your emotions. Wow, okay. With the lovers in the reverse. I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, lovers in the reverse. Ace of Wands. It's it's just, I think this is just like cutting through the crap when it comes to relationships. I, I'm not trying to make this like a romantic reading either. These are just the cards that flew out. And um, I mean, it makes sense to me, but I, I think this is an imbalance also of like the divine feminine, the divine masculine, but I, I'm feeling lots of imbalances with relationships. Um, and it's just asking you to get a hold on your, your mentality because these are like right next to each other with the Ace of Wands and the Moon. And this is just like claiming claiming your power back and really claiming your thoughts and emotions, balancing them out, getting them right into alignment, shining your light out, working with the Emerald. So we have the green smoke here. So really working with the, the Emerald Ray, the Emerald Flame. Um, there's like, I, I can put some Google links um, in the comments on how to work with the Emerald Flame. It's very, very um, powerful. 
and it has a lot to do with the heart chakra but also other things as well so it's not limited to just that there's a lot of um, creative work that you could do with this emerald flame so i'll be doing that as well also working with the rainbow ring i've been seeing the rainbow it's a, the ring of the rainbow I've, I've been seeing this everywhere you guys like non-stop see we have it here too with the magician the ring see the the ring there the rainbow ring can you guys see that so like i said it's it's this rainbow activation the rainbow energy i i just feel it i know it um work with the rainbow ring and the emerald flame and just envision green i feel like this will help your emotions get into alignment because not only just because of the heart chakra um, alignment activation you'll be doing with this, but I, I just feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you. And if you look at this card, there's a lot of green in this as well, and it's all in alignment here. Um, I feel like this moon energy, like getting a hold on your emotions and your feelings and like just your mind, like your mental patterns and habits. And it just showed 11, 11, the time on my timer. Um, maybe it won't when I edit this, but we'll see. Probably won't. <laughs> um, I feel like this, this getting a hold on your emotions is going to help balance a lot of things and just help you reclaim your power back. And I feel like a lot of you are understanding like you don't have to be codependent, like you can do this all on your own. And just coming into that inner acknowledgement of knowing that and the inner strength that, that just that knowing has um, will be very beneficial for a lot of you, including myself. So, all right. Let's see what else we got going on. I hope everyone's doing really well. I just know there's been a lot of crazy energies um, with the collective because I pick up a lot on collective energies. I pick up a lot on a lot because I'm an empath and I've just noticed like lots of crazy like not crazy but just lots of um, thoughts lots of um, fears lots of uh, I guess just like unalignments and I think we're just doing the best that we can right now working through these energies <laughs> loosen your grip in the reverse how funny is that asking you with that card to um, recognize your coping mechanisms, know your destiny, um, recognize your addictions, and to let God in. Oh my gosh, wait at the world in the reverse. Your life is a canvas in the reverse. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. So wait at the world, um, and I'll show you these. We have loosen your grip. There's activations that you can get just in the visualizations in the pictures of these cards. So that's why I like to show them. And the lighting isn't the best here, but like I said, we're, I'll get there. <laughs> Weight of the world in the reverse. I don't usually film here, so. Um, this is boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Wow, is that um, synchronistic? That makes a lot of sense. I feel like we're just like, trying to um, raise the light in certain people that are just aren't ready to do that. Um, so we can do what we can. Whale and Orca Elders. So this is the card that flew out when I was talking about weight of the world. So I think this is really going to help us or those of you, because this is collective reading. So those of you that are experiencing these specific energies of feeling like you're holding the weight of the world, not being able to set very clear boundaries, not able to let it go, um, not able to understand that it's not yours to carry. It says share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. So you can work with um, whale and orca um, sonar, listen to these meditations, these energies, but it's also really telling you and reiterating you to share your own song, share your own voice, your specific unique frequency of sound, whatever that is, whether that's art, whether that's instruments, whether that's dancing, whatever it is that you do creatively, 
creatively. It's asking you to share this, your own unique, weird, quirky, whatever it is. And it's also asking you to dive deep. So dive deep into the depths of your emotions. See, we have the water here. And I feel like if you ask the whale elders, um, which are these spirits of the whales that have existed for very long times, hold a lot of knowledge and ancient wisdom. And I feel like tapping into their energies, perhaps when you're taking a bath or a shower even, will help amplify this. <clears throat> but asking them to help you um, understand your emotions and to clear these things out. Um, also, not being afraid to share your voice. I feel like there's so many fears that have come up and even with myself, even with myself. So I'm working through these too, just like you guys are. So, but don't be afraid to share your own unique creative spark, your own creative light, because by you doing this, you're helping so many other people, even though you may not feel like, okay, for example, say you put a post up on your Instagram or your YouTube or whatever social blog you have and it's not getting that many views, it's not getting that many likes, just because like maybe people haven't, certain people haven't viewed it doesn't mean that the people that have viewed it aren't, go aren't going to share the knowledge or the light codes that they got from that specific video to their friends and then their friends to others like, Work with the throat chakra. I'm getting like choked up here. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Work with lapis lazuli. This will help you share your voice. This will help you share your sound. If you're a singer, this will really help you a lot. It helps me. If you're needing to communicate things with others, this will help you do so. I see I'm learning a lot through this reading as well, just like you guys are. But let the light in. Let it shine. Let it express yourself. And don't worry about likes and views and all that stuff. I mean, we are not defined by those things. The, we're doing this to help, to help people. So don't get caught up in that thing. And I, I know sometimes it can be hard because um, we're only human and we're so like trained now or programmed to like go by that. And it's not even, it's, it's pretty soon that's all gonna be gone. Pretty soon we're gonna all band together once we get over our egoic selves. And once we all become healed and sovereign, and I feel like once we can really get to the highest peak of ourselves to shine our light out and express who we truly are, which we're doing the best that we can right now, we're working through this to get there. But I feel like once we do that, we all band together, like all this stuff that's like so superficial and silly, it's all gonna fall away anyways. So don't get used to it. Don't get used to like the competition. Don't get used to being defined by your likes or your views or your subscribers or your subscriber count or all of that. I mean, that's been a very common message I've been receiving, not just from friends, but just, just um, intuitively and collectively. And so don't get caught up in that stuff. Honestly, pretty soon, it's not even gonna matter. It doesn't even really matter now. What matters is that you're sharing your voice and sharing your inner light and your beauty and just trying to raise the vibration, the frequency of humanity and of earth and to encourage others to do the same so that we can really get this momentum going and uplift the vibrational frequency. That's what we're trying to do. And then it says your life is a canvas. So artist, manifestation, creative accountability. So really take accountability for your creativity, okay? Really take accountability for what you're sharing with the world. And know, notice when you're not sharing it, how you feel. Like for me, it, it's not always easy for me to um, do these readings with my daughter because, you know, I'm, I'm having to watch her, obviously, and take care of her. And so I don't get a lot of time, but um, when I'm not able to do these readings, I just, I feel so not myself. I feel so empty inside. I feel like there's so much more I could be doing to help the world. And it's asking you to kind of like relax in that area too and just know that like it's okay to take breaks and to follow divine intervention, to follow divine timing, and just trust that like when you are making a video or when you are sharing a message that it's meant to be shared at that time. And the times that you want to and you aren't able to, then it wasn't meant to be shared at that time, otherwise it would be. So just like take note and knowing that, okay? Who this card is very symbolic. It says, fall into my arms. 
It says surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Okay, so I feel like a lot of us are like, just like that polaric poles, um, we're living in duality. And so we can be like very high up or very high down. It's just kind of telling you to like go with the flow, surrender, don't worry about holding the opposite emotions or the extremes of life. Just understand that um, we just need to go with the flow and understand that like if it's meant to be, it will be. And if it's not, it'll fall apart. And... There's lots of reverse cards here, and that's kind of what I thought we were going to get. Um, we have the Cosmic Heart in reverse. Wow, okay. This devotion, potency, make your, life a, a, make your life a moving prayer. It's telling you to get moving and dance. Work with different color frequencies. So definitely look at different color frequencies. There's a great person on here. Um, his name is Wizard Azanon. And he has these videos that are very um, amazing, animated, uh, picturesque, full of, you know, different um, DNA activations and light code awakenings. And you could just watch one of these videos. They're a few minutes long and they're very activating. I've had very crazy dreams after watching them. I've had amazing things happen after watching them. I've had purging of emotions happen after watching them. They're just very, very activating and really awesome. So I highly recommend his videos. Um, and he works with a lot of color frequencies and sound frequencies that are for star seats. So I will link his channel in the description box below and also in the comments. And I highly recommend you check him out because I feel like just watching some of his videos will really help you get activated. And don't worry about like, which one should I watch? Which one? Just like pick one and whatever the one you picked was the right one and watch that. They're very activating. So understand that like um i would probably watch one a day because uh, you'll notice they're very activating but i feel like this will really really help this is asking you to be devoted to who you are to understand your potency and to understand that you hold the heart of the cosmos with inside of yourself i feel like a lot of people don't realize that but they're beginning to and so that's why that's in the reverse we have the golden children that's us, you guys. Star seeds, the golden children, the golden age, the chosen ones. It says inner child tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. We need to understand that we need to share our rare gifts, that we hold the transmutation key also, that we can transmute emotions of the collective, which is why we're such huge empaths. Um, but it's asking you to really like be be soft with yourself, um, to tap into the innocence that you had when you were once a child to embrace your rare, rare gifts and to share them with the world and to just be really tender with yourself. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's asking you to do this. Surrender to the sweetness in the reverse as well. Kind of goes along with that inner child card, but it's telling you um, this is your this is the Venus energy. This is pleasure. This is joy. It's telling you to make love to life. Make love to life because your life is a canvas, and the more you can, I love that phrase. Make love to life. Like, just do it. Just in, embracing the pleasures, embracing the joy, and just see what you can create. Like, push yourself further than what you normally would and do things that you wouldn't like step out of the box and do things that you wouldn't normally do as far as like creativity um I just started doing this recently a lot of you also may have just been having this huge burst of like creative energy and not knowing where to put it and I've had this creative burst of energy with like all these different things that I don't normally do but I've just been expressing it and exploring it and going with the flow and it's really been helping me in a lot of ways so I feel like this will help you guys too if you haven't been doing it already I feel like a lot of you have but it's telling you to take joy and pleasure in these things and to make love to life I love that I love that so much life is your canvas and it's yours to explore and express and share out to the world and then we have the great severing in the reverse. Ooh, what's this? The Great Severing. This is Mars energy. This is anger, conflict, softening to love. Wow. So I feel like there's a lot of conflict going on. Um, I feel like there's a lot of anger in a lot of people. And we're softening these energies. We're trying to soften them to love, to get them to transmute, to raise the energies higher. I feel like a lot of us are in 
certain relationships where this is going on, but I also feel like we are sovereign beings and we have to know this and we have to understand that we are also the transmutation key, but we have to be able to express our creativity. We have to be living in our honest truth and doing what we love to do. Like, for example, for me, I've been dancing around the house like a fool lately, like a complete and utter fool. And it's just been feeling so good. And I used to dance all the time and then I just stopped and it feels so good to do that again. I've been drawing again. I've been making these like really cool collage moving pictures with different apps on my phone phone and putting music to them and putting them up on my Instagram. So if that's something you guys want to check out, definitely check out my Instagram. It's at KimberKiss33. Um, I just, I've been having so much fun with it and it's just really been helping this creativity explosion. It feels like an explosion, like a comet went down to earth and just like exploded all this creativity inside of me and I know I pick up a lot of energies from the collective so I know a lot of you starseeds have been feeling this creative spark and this creative explosion as well and it's just trying to figure out how to express these energies and I'm just telling you life your life is a canvas so paint it however way you want and explore maybe paint something differently than you normally do maybe I don't know, go out into nature and draw a different kind of tree or take the tree's perspective and like climb a tree, but be safe and like look down and draw what you see or just look at things in a different light and um, maybe do something like step outside the box and express your creativity in a completely different way than you normally would. And don't feel any guilt or shame around this. Like, just do it. Just whatever feels good, just do. And that's how you're shining your light. That's how you're getting your light back. So, where am I on time? Okay, this reading's kind of long, but I feel like it's important. And uh, it was just really, like, <laughs> called to do this. Um, let's pull some love cards, shall we? Why the frick not? <laughs> I'm feeling like a lot of Andromedans are, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, oh no. Okay, wow. This is so weird. Like there's so much polarity here. Like what is happening? <laughs> it's like, it's so funny because like with those cards, there's all this like conflict and anger, but there's also all this like love and joy and pleasure and like creative spark. It's like, what the heck is this? I feel like a comet came to earth and brought all these crazy energies with it. That's how I honestly feel. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so funny. Remember, this is collective. So this isn't going to pertain to every single person watching this. But I feel like if you're drawn to this video, there are some messages in here that are for you. So... I, I do feel like a lot of these will resonate um, and perhaps not all. I mean, especially this love portion might not resonate for all of you, but oh no, <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, don't be nervous though. There's good things on the horizon. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm not done pulling all these cards. I was talking about um, the rainbow energies and the color energies and the rainbow ring. And I also wanted to reiterate um, with along with Wizard Azanon's videos, um, there's the spirit of the cosmos. His name is Shane and he's on YouTube as well. He has some really awesome crystal videos where he talks about the different colors of the crystals and their properties. And um, I'll put some of those links to like the specific ones that like I really love to look at um, that are very activating. I'll put those below as well. I would like you guys to check those out. And I also, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And I also have a friend named Michelle Noel Creations on YouTube who is going to be showing the Crystal Gem Show on her channel. Um, 
in pretty soon, like in a few days. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, she'll be putting that on her channel. And I wanted to let you guys know that she also has some crystal videos um, where she shows different crystals from the gem shows. And they hold a lot of light codes and activations and the songs in them do especially as well. So I highly recommend you checking out her videos as well. And that's Shane from Spirit of the Cosmos and then Michelle Noel Creations. Her name is Michelle and she's on YouTube. So, oh gosh, this is so interesting. And so definitely um, check out their, their videos and I'll, I'll link the specific ones that I'm recommending in the comments and in the description box for you guys. And I wanted to also let you know that um, I should be doing a live stream soon, probably this weekend sometime. I'm not exactly sure exactly when, but it will be this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. I'm thinking maybe maybe Friday. I'm not 100% sure though. So don't quote me on that, but I'm gonna try to get on and do a live stream to do some free readings for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Thanks to everyone that's been giving me donations with my PayPal as well. I'll leave my PayPal in the link below. If you guys like what I do or like to buy me a coffee or a crystal or whatever, or you just want to send some energetic love exchange, um, that's always welcome. And I'm always very appreciative of that. And I will leave that in the description box below as well. Oh my gosh. What is all this? There's See, there's just so much here that it's like... What the heck? Like, where do I even begin? Is this it? Okay, apparently not. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is insane. <laughs> so let me just read you the titles here and then you'll understand. We have separation. We have passion. We have worth waiting for it in the reverse. We have heart to heart conversations in the upright. Release your ex. Make the effort in the reverse, finances and career in the upright, playfulness in the reverse, new love, retreat, true love, and this could be the one. <sighs> Beginning, we have separation. So this says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. <laughs> oh, that makes me nervous for many of you. <laughs> um, so this is interesting. So this could be happening for some of you. Um, and this isn't to scare you. This is, you know, this isn't going to be everybody. This is collective. But I feel like maybe a lot of you feel like there's going to be a separation coming or there will be a separation coming. But it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Maybe this person is leaving and has a new job or maybe you're just leaving or it could be anything really. But take it how you will, how it resonates. So we have passion and upright. And this says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So it's really asking you, again, to find and hold your own power, to express your creativity, to share your voice. I feel like a lot of you are singers and a lot of you are very musically inclined and it's telling you to follow your passions with this. It's encouraging it and expressing you to in like five different cards. So worth waiting for in the reverse. And this says divine timing is at work in your love life. So you have to trust this. I feel like because this is in the reverse, a lot of people aren't trusting that divine timing is at work in their love life. Um, we have heart to heart conversations in the upright. This says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So instead of perhaps just yelling, just try to have like an adult conversation and just sat, sit down and just be, tr be honest, be truthful, and express how you feel. And honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Notice how it says honestly. This can be a tricky one, but you need to be honest. Release your ex. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. So the time has come to clear your energy. Take this the way that you will. This is make the effort in the reverse, and this says... Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So maybe you're just clearing your energy and this is going to help the relationship or maybe you're just separating altogether so you can focus on yourself. Okay. We have finances and career in the upright. Sorry, I'm just trying to get reorganized here. This is kind of a mess. 
let's give this nice okay so finances and career in the upright and this says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now okay so this could be for a lot of you and I feel like the monetary system is just going to change in such a huge way soon. I'm not sure how soon, but I just know that lots and lots of star seats and light workers are really stepping into um, developing their own passions into their own businesses. And I really encourage you to do the same. And yeah, we have playfulness in the reverse. Um, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I feel like there's lots of contradicting energies here because I feel like a lot of these relationships have been going like back and forth, back and forth for a while. I feel like there's like a lot of like different like roller coaster emotions and moods and perhaps you're with somebody or you yourself are like this like emotional roller coaster. And so it's just kind of asking you to get again, get a hold back on your emotions and really like sit down with your partner and discuss your honest feelings and let them know how you're feeling. And um, it's it's asking you, you really, it's telling you, you really need to um, trust in the universe, trust in divine timing when it comes to all of this and to focus on your passion, make that into your career, okay? New love, it says a new person has stirred romantic feelings. So a new person has stirred these romantic feelings for you. Again, this isn't all of you. We have retreat. It says time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this is like the hermit card. I know that this is okay. Um, true love. So this is the romance of a lifetime. This could be with your higher self even. This could just be you tapping into your inner child or expressing your passions. This could be a literal partner or person. Um, but this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So you've perhaps already met this person and perhaps it'll it'll go somewhere or perhaps um, this is you going into your divinity, your divine higher self and expressing yourself that way. So there's, like I said, there's lots of messages here. So just take the ones that make sense to you and resonate, okay? feel like there's okay there's another message that wants to come through there's some light language that wants to come through all will be well, all will be fine. No matter what happens, it's in divine time. Hmm. Bye. I'll be doing another one of these videos, so don't fret. <laughs> um, I'll be doing another Collective Star Seed reading this week. It might be up next week. We'll see. But it'll be up shortly, so... Follow your heart, explore other realms. This is like really focusing on you guys to go into these other dimensions. Do you see this? Like follow your heart, okay? And explore other realms is in the reverse. So explore other realms. Look at the bird energies here. Explore other realms. Um, lots of you tapping into like this, um, see how it's like this Christ energy, this Christed knowledge. Um, the fruit, <laughs> the branch, Jesus. So Christ, um, knowledge, voyage to Maldun. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure where that is. This is fairy love. So I, I feel like because there's two fairy cards here, I feel like a lot of you hold a lot of, um, connectivity to the fairy realms and to fairies. 
feel like a lot of you are lining up with your divine partner. Um, a lot of you are lining up with your higher self. It's really asking you to explore these other realms and to look through the mist, to find the mystery and to embrace your imagination, to embrace your third eye visions, to be curious and to, to look deeper. Okay. To really look deeper and, um, really find and hold your own power in this, in this knowing of these other realms and these explorations of higher dimensions when you're meditating, when you're having these dreams. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been having like very intense dreams, um, lucid dreams, vivid, very vivid dreams to where it feels like you're there. It's real. I feel like a lot of us have been doing a lot of work in our dreams to where we wake up and perhaps we got a great night's sleep and we're still tired or perhaps we're having sleep disturbances where we're not able to fall asleep and there's just all these thoughts that we're trying to transmute collectively and old paradigms that we're really trying to break through and all these gifts that we know we want to express yet we're afraid to share because we've been so programmed to be insecure and to be aware of um, what other people think of us and honestly what other people think of you is really none of your business. And honestly, also, what other people think of you is your business because um, you're here to sh shine light. You're here to shine light and you're here to express yourself and inspire others to do the same. So really explore. Really do things outside of the box. Follow your heart. Follow your passions. Dig deeper. Look through the mist. Find the myst mystery. Find the imagination. Explore the third eye. Let that open. Let that express itself. And draw what you see. Write down what you see. Write down what you see in your dreams. Take note of this because these are all signs and these are all pieces that are going to come together later on. And these are the energies that I'm getting collectively for the collective. So I really hope this reading helped you guys. Thank you for bearing with me with the lighting. Um, like I said, I will be getting better lighting soon and usually I film in my film room but um today like I said my daughter's napping I want to keep an eye on her and um work with work with communicating with the whales because um when you explore these energies and listen to their sonar it will really really help you and ask them questions and they'll assist ask your light beings questions and they will assist and those light codes I just integrated through the light language will also really really help you I wanted to let you know I'm offering 10% off right now on all my half hour, my one hour, my two hour Starseed Origins readings and personal readings. If you purchase a one hour reading with me, whether that's personal or Starseed Origins, you get a free timeless reading of your choosing. And those are all an hour long. And they're very, very popular. <laughs> Amongst many people, they just, they really resonate with the messages because they're meant to. And so I trust that and it's really exciting. And if you purchase a two hour reading, you get two timeless readings of your choosing. So think about it. That's like two hours plus another two hours, which is four hours total and messages and integrations and light codes. And then you also get an energy signature drawing where I literally channel your energy frequency and put it into a picture. And so that's really, really exciting. Um, so, and you get that, those two timeless readings of your choosing that you get to pick from my Etsy store and the energy signature drawing for free with the two hour reading, whether that's star seed origins or personal. So definitely check out my readings, guys. Um, a lot of things are 10% off right now on my Etsy shop. So just explore. There's lots of good stuff there. Whatever you're drawn to is what will be meant for you to view and to um, acquire, re acquire at this time. So I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'll be doing another live stream here very shortly. Um, I'm thinking this weekend, probably Friday around evening time. Um, or perhaps Saturday or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure when, but keep an eye out for that. I'll post it on my community tab before I go live that day. And um, yeah, I'll be doing another collective starseed reading face to face. And yeah, just lots of exciting things happening. Um, keep an eye out for that live stream because I feel like I'll probably give away something during that live stream. So if you're a lucky watcher, you may be eligible for that. So very exciting news. Lots of cool things I'm going to be implementing as well as far as, as far as my shop and my business go. So keep an eye out. I love you all. All I want to do is help you and encourage you to shine your light just like I shine mine and to help raise the frequency of the planet. And we're doing the best that we can. Don't be hard on yourself. Just go with the flow. I love you each so incredibly much 
and express your creativity, guys. Express it and share your gifts. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, Starseeds.